When we talk about web data, we're referring to any data which is downloaded or generated locally when accessing the internet. Web data can grow rapidly and has been found to account for over 85% of user profile space, posing a clear profile bloat issue for administrators and resulted in a poor working experience for users. Although the internet and web browsing has been around for a while, it's only since the release of Microsoft Windows 8 and Internet Explorer 10 that it really became a problem for administrators. Prior to this, the application wrote directly to the file system and registry and saved relatively small files that had little impact to either the administrator or the user. With the release of Windows 8 and in an effort to speed up web browsing, Microsoft changed the underlying WinINet subsystem responsible for internet communications. This introduced a new database known as the web cache as its central point of storage for all web data. The web cache itself is named webcachev01.dat and can be found in the local app data section of the user profile. It spawns at either 24 or 32 megabytes and grows steadily as users use the system. To ensure web data roams successfully, the web cache database must be stored out at log off and restored at next login for the user. Cookies are one of the more familiar forms of web data. In server operating systems and desktop operating systems up to Windows 10 1709, cookies were stored as small files on disk. Since Windows 10 1709, they have now moved completely within the web cache database. Each cookie delivered has a unique identifier, which then allows the website to recognize the user across multiple sessions. Authentication cookies tell a website that you don't want to be prompted for credentials, but automatically logged in according to that unique ID within the cookie. Tracking cookies are one of the most common form of cookies that are found on a user's machine. Websites place these cookies down to track user behavior. Tracking cookies are one of the major reasons for data loss in any business today. Advertising cookies take the data which is gathered by the tracking cookies and then uses this to send targeted adverts down to the user. History is another common form of web data used extensively by users. Web pages that are visited are recorded and then shown back to the user to allow them to revisit the sites they've been to previously. DOM Store was introduced by Microsoft with Internet Explorer 8 and like cookies provide an area on disk where websites can download data to. Client side data such as scripts are commonly found here though care again should be taken as this is also a common location for malware. Examination of the web cache reveals other application specific data. Internet Explorer has a compatibility mode feature, allowing older websites to render correctly in it. There's a default list which is downloaded to the web cache and if using enterprise mode, that list is also stored within the web cache. The closeness of Windows Explorer to Internet Explorer is also evident as we can see UNC paths and file names of locations and files accessed. Most Windows Store apps communicate to servers onto the internet and as so have their own set of web data. This generally means that in a Windows 10 machine the size of the web cache is twice the size that it would be on a Windows 7 device. Chrome and Firefox use proprietary code and as such do not write to the web cache file. They do, however, create their own set of databases as shown. This means that if the same website is visited using two different browsers, say Internet Explorer and Chrome, then two sets of web data are downloaded and maintained on the machine. 